installed inch and a half galvanized unistrut and these will be holding on my solar panels these blackjack asphalt roofing compound for the bolts and put a spacer underneath each channel to show that well to keep out any water from catching on the top of this lip right here so all the water will run run all the way down and this is sealed off okay now all right what we've done is fastened our panels down onto the unit strut using these clips and they worked out real good that minimized uh, all the holes we had in the roof we only have uh, eight holes total holding the channels on and uh, this is working out really really good we've actually installed these four panels after we got the channels on in about 10 minutes so it's probably worth the effort uh, also all the hardware we've got is uh, stainless and galvanized, uh, hot dip galvanized, and uh, that's going to work out great. It's going to be no maintenance whatsoever on it. Uh, these are all my cables that are going to my junction box, and uh, that's it. Okay, now we've installed our uh, junction box. We've got all our leads coming in. Uh, going to be two positives and two negatives uh, which were tied into all four panels uh, running in conduit try to do a nice neat job as best we can and what I've done is we put a another uh, T in for when we add more panels and uh, that'll make it a lot easier for us when we add our other set of panels uh, here in the future once I save my coke bottles and coins up a little bit but uh, we're going to run it down on the end of the roof and uh, tie it into the house but uh, it's hot here it's uh, September the 10th 2010 and it is hot here in southeast Texas Okay, we got uh, all the panels tied in to this uh, bus bars, positive and negative. This is positive, that's a negative. Here's my leads going to this next junction box. And this junction box is going to be for another set of panels in the future. So we went ahead and wired this up where all we got to do is take these two leads these two leads from existing panels and bring two more leads and tie everything in and all that runs to the inside of the house uh, this is number eight and this is number ten number ten wire and uh, this one will be number ten also but the eight will uh, make up for the two tens so, anyhow, that's what we got. Okay, we got the, all the panels up. Got all the wires tied in to the junction, junction boxes. Running down the roof. from the roof and get down off this ladder we're running down here then we're going into the house 
And uh, that's where my controllers, my controllers, chargers, uh, inverters, and everything will be. Uh, there'll be a battery box. We're going to build a battery box. And basically what we're going to do is put a vent out here. Uh, just like a dryer vent, but it's going to have a 12 volt fan on it. And it'll pull all the uh, gases from the battery box outside so we don't have a problem there. But uh, that's how we spend our day. Nothing to it. Huh. Okay, uh, finished installing the panels. Everything's wired together. Uh, ran into some problems. Uh, had to pull the panels back off. Didn't have any voltage when we got them into the house, got the two wires into the house. Backtracked everything and uh, what it is is these, there's T's that come with these panels. We had to buy them separate. They're $20 a piece a pair two panels together where you only have to run one set of wires for the positive and the negative and uh, the connections connectors were bad yanked them off there cut them spliced wires back in with uh, bugs and tape and uh, put them in a box so do not ever buy these tees I'll get back with you on the which what's the name of them is, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, anyhow. So it comes back into the house. Did try to do a nice and neat job as I could, but I'm not an electrician, but anyhow, let's, let's go in the house and we'll, I'll show you where we terminated everything. For my controllers. Still working on the controllers uh, and the battery box. I have to build a battery box with a vent, fan, fan vent, and uh, anyhow, let's see. Here's my panel I'm working on. Uh, it's a 140-watt uh, controller. And it'll, it'll work uh, solar and wind. So probably in the future, uh, I'll try to do a little wind a little wind turbine. And this, uh, these are two wires coming in from the panels. I haven't haven't got them finished up yet. But uh, got my inverters. Uh, these are just kill switches. I thought they looked cool, so. I had to, that is in the off position, that is on the on position, so I'm going to run separate cables to the battery bank, and I got 40 amp fuses, these are throw fuses too, actually they're breakers, but uh, They'll be mounted also. I got the holes. I just got everything mounted up here. Then I've got another piece of, of uh, plate that's going to go all the way down to the ground. Uh, so my cables, my cables will run all the way down, have them nice and neat. But uh, here's where I'm coming in. Uh, anyhow, that's what I've got for right now. I think it's looking pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. All some prepping stuff. Gotta keep gotta keep plenty of food just in case. Just in case. Food, water. Yeah. Beans, rice, wheat. Anyhow, that's it.